All right, so I was just kind of going to make this maybe an audio lecture, but I decided it's going to be really short, but I figured everything else is video, so we'll just kind of do this, stay with the same format. And what I want to do with this brief lecture here is talk about the Code of Hammurabi and Babylonia. So just kind of as a quick review, last time we had, you know, discussed a lot of the pre-civilization and the civilization time periods. Uh, we talked about, you know, all the characteristics of civilization. We talked about Mesopotamia. Uh, we talked about a lot about the geography, right? And also, don't forget, you have in your modules there a chart to print out that's going to help you out with the geography themes. So anytime you see any of these charts or um, helpful outlines I post for you, print those, use those. They're going to help you throughout the semester. If I put it up, it's obviously something useful that I took time to prepare. So anyways, mainly that was the last lecture, right? And then when we left off with the last lecture, we were talking about the civilizations in Mesopotamia. So let's just go to the map here real quickly. And this is just to remind us, this is again, this whole area of Mesopotamia. And we talked about the different civilizations there, the Sumerians, and then we had the Akkadians, and then we had the second Sumerian period. And then we kind of left off around 15, uh, around 2000 BC. And I said, what happened to them? Well, it's actually not that dramatic. Uh, what happens to them is those Babylonians come in and then they will take control of much of Mesopotamia. Now for the Babylonians, I'm not really going to lecture on them. This is why this is going to be really, really short. Uh, because the reality is for the Babylonians, you know, all you need to know is that they, you know, lived in this area of Mesopotamia for several hundred years. And you need to know, of course, one of their rulers, really only one of them. And it was a man named Hammurabi. And the reason I'm not going to really lecture on the Babylonians much is because you were already supposed to read Hammurabi's code. And from reading Hammurabi's code, you had a discussion. And what you were supposed to do on that discussion board is what do we know about the Babylonians. So what I'm going to do now is just going to give you a quick overview of what you should have already done on that assignment. It was already due. Um, so let's just go to the code again. And this is Hammurabi's code. Um, in 1792 to 1750 BC is when Hammurabi lived. Obviously, you don't, or rule that say, you don't need to ever memorize specific dates like that, guys. Right? I'm never going to test you on what year did Hammurabi rule over the Babylonians or anything like that. Uh, just, you know, circa 1700s, you're good. Uh, so really, you know, this is also just I wanted to show you an image of it as well. So this is up here. Uh, I think in the discussion I posted this as well for you. Uh, Hammurabi receiving the law codes. And down here is the actual law codes there. And, you know, one of the things that we see in this code, it is, it is one of their gods uh, that's giving Hammurabi the law code. Maybe that sounds familiar to you, like Moses and the Ten Commandments and all of that. And, you know, as you read through it, what I was hoping that you were able to observe is a few of the characteristics. So, for example, hopefully you picked up on how it's a very harsh society. How do we know it's a harsh society? How many of the codes dealt with death? Death, 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 death. There were a lot of codes uh, specifically about death. Uh, there were a lot of codes about um, farming and agriculture. So we know that was important to them. Uh, I'm hoping you picked up on the idea of the class system as well, right? That there was one point where they talked about these patricians and plebeians. Those were actually Roman terms. Whoever translated your source in the BD book, if that's the one you read uh, from, use those terms. But patricians are upper class, plebeians are lower class. If you read that and like, what's a patrician? What's a plebeian? And you didn't know it, look it up, right? You always want to look these things up. And so uh, they, they, they have these codes where it talked about how if you, you know, did something to a patrician, did something to a plebeian, they just pay money. If a patrician did something to a patrician, like his eye shall be knocked out, then your eye shall be knocked out. But if you just knock out the eye of a plebeian, well, you just pay some mean of silver or something. And so that's what makes it a class system, that the laws are different, uh, that if you're a rich person, you're a poor person, the laws is written, are, are in fact written differently. Uh, there were law codes about surgery being performed. So we know they had cataract surgery as well. There were law codes uh, about women, right? So there was something you can learn about the, the Babylonians. That was a more male-dominated society. And you could find examples of that. Uh, these are all really good things you could have included in your discussion board that I'd ask you to do. 
Uh, what are some other good ones off the top of my head that I could think of? Uh, there were law codes. Uh, um, again, we said about farming. Oh, the rivers, right? And again, that's a little bit of the geography and how the rivers tied in with their fate and their superstition and their religion. Uh, so things like that were all things we can learn about the Babylonians. So you read the code, and instead of you know just rereading the code and re some and, and just regurgitating it exactly the same, it's what do we know? What do we know about? Um, the, the Babylonians. And so that's what I really wanted you to be able to observe from reading Hammurabi's code. So hopefully that's clear. Again, it's not, you know, too important to get the specific details lecture wise, right? It was mainly for the discussion. And so I just want to do a quick little video recap of it for you. I'm not going to do this for every discussion board, right? But I thought since this is the first one, it might kind of help give you some guidance. Uh, and then that's it. That's all you really need to know about the Babylonians. There isn't much to them. And then after the Babylonians, of course, we move on to our next civilization that you're going to get in your next audio lecture or next uh, YouTube lecture, sorry. All right, so I hope that's clear. If you have any questions about it, if anything wasn't clear on how to do the discussion board, please let me know. All right, thank you guys.